Omer Ozkizilchik. He's a security analyst at the SETA Foundation. He joins us live from Ankara. Uh, Omer, uh, give us some perspective on how these joint patrols uh, will be carried out and how exactly will this safe zone be maintained? So, first of all, we have to differentiate in regards to the safe zone in, about, uh, in two aspects. The first, the Turkish and Syrian controlled areas from Masulain to Tal Abyad, and secondly, the areas east and west of it, which should be uh, controlled by the Assad regime and from where the YPG has to withdraw. But until now, we see that the YPG has not really withdrawn from these areas. They are still clashed between the Turkish baked and support. The Syrian National Army and the YPG force east and west of the borderline of the safe zone, which is controlled by Turkey and the Syrian opposition. And uh, today's joint patrols are, let me put clearly, a mission almost impossible because uh, we have to see how the Russians plan to guarantee the safety of the Turkish armed force who will enter this region, who will uh, conduct joint patrols. And if there would be any attack from the YPG terror group against the Turkish armed force, how will the Russians react? I have the Russians enough capacity and capability to protect the Turkish soldiers, or would this trigger a major escalation in which the Turkish armed force need to take it in their own hands? So there are many important questions which we, that of whom the answers we don't know. Mm -hmm. And basically, the Joint Patrol's main goal is to ensure that the YPG has withdrawn, because I don't think that the Russians are able uh, or capable of protecting the Turkish armed force if the YPG is present inside this area and if the YPG decides to attack the Turkish armed force. Therefore, the joint patrols can only be durable and maintained if the YPG really has withdrawn from the safe zone. But until now, as I said, uh, even, the Russian, even though the Russians have claimed that the YPG has withdrawn fully, we know from the underground source that the YPG is still present. And maybe today's uh, joint patrol may go well, but this doesn't mean that the next joint patrol will go well and that there isn't a security challenge. And therefore, uh, it's highly important for Turkey that the Russians ensure that the YPG has withdrawn fully. Okay. Omar, give us a sense of how and why this safe zone is so important for Turkey. So let me put clearly, it's not only important for Turkey, and I would uh, like to underline why it's important for the Syrians, because there are more Syrians living in Turkey and inside Turkish protected areas in Syria than there are Syrians living under the control of the Assad regime. Uh, almost a fourth of the entire Syrian population does not live inside Syria anymore. So they want areas to return back home. And we know that the Syrian refugees won't return back to the regime had areas. And we know that the areas controlled by the Syrian opposition are just too tiny to, and they are overcrowded, uh, actually, uh, at the very moment with uh, too many people. So this safe zone will create a new space for refugees to go back home, to go to their home countries. So I think no one should underestimate the willingness of the Syrians to go back home, to live inside Syria and to help rebuild their country. And this is what Turkey wants to do, uh, mainly with the safe zone. Additionally, from Turkish perspective, the safe zone also guarantees the security of the Turkish border, because who, which country in the world would like to live next to a terror group or next to a North Korea semi, a state lit similar to the North Koreans, a communist state by PKK terrorist organization? I think no country in the world would like to have such a neighbor. And therefore, the safe zone will guarantee the border security of Turkey. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Omar Ozkizilchik Oz joining us from Ankara. Thank you for your perspective on this.